Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder of Selectors Hub. Welcome back. Request you please subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Thank you. Difference between these two formats of XPath. Actually, it's a very good interview question and very helpful concept if you are doing uh, testing around hyperlinks or anchor, I mean, so-called links on the page. So it will be very helpful and in fact in many cases of uh, web scrapping also this is very very helpful. So let's understand what is the difference between double forward slash a square bracket at the rate href and double forward slash a forward slash at the rate href. Basically a uh, formula is like you can say double forward slash this uh, tag name and then square bracket at the rate attribute name so let's see before that let me uh, let us see one example generally like how do we write the x path so here let's open selectors up let me just zoom in i hope this will be visible <coughs> okay so suppose we are writing an uh, X path for this element, let's say zoo, uh, this enter email. So here you see that relative X path. So this is the relative X path. Generally we write like double power slash input and then at the rate, let's say ID is equal to user ID. Okay. So this is finding one element matching. For a second, if we remove this, and now write this double forward slash input at the rate id so now you see that here it is finding 11 elements matching and what are those which are those 11 so for a second either you make it up so you will see it here or let's just turn on edit mode only so you can see that these are the all 11 input tag in this page okay now now here we have these 11 inputs okay before this like if we didn't add this and just hit this there are 31 inputs now when we have added this condition it means get us all the input in this page which has the id attribute so this will return us all the input which has the id attribute so basically this is a formula where we are telling give us all these tags and then if we add this attribute here inside a square bracket without value which means we are telling our x path get us all these tag names which has this attribute and this kind of x path used to return the node like basically web element so here this way you can get all the nodes which has these attribute this attribute whatever you have written after add okay and this x path formula can be used in automation script we'll come to that now suppose we want to get all the suppose we have written this one forward slash at the rate uh, ID like we have seen in our thumbnail so here you see that it is returning all the ID values ID attribute values so here this is not the web element so now you see the difference this kind of X path double forward slash tag name forward slash at the rate attribute name is returning the values of those of that attribute which you have written here so this returns the value now i hope you you, you can get it easily that if you write this way then it is returning the node which is web element if you write forward slash and then at the rate attribute name then it returns the value the string value not the web element okay so this is very helpful in case of web scrapping or in case of like you want to quickly get all the values of <coughs> id 
of a particular tag in the page, then in that case, it is very helpful. In fact, like let's say you want all the ID in this page. So you just write double forward slash star and forward slash at the rate ID. We can get all the ID attribute which has been used in this page. Now, let's see the example which we have in this thumbnail now. Double forward slash A. So it will give us how many attribute uh, anchor tags are there on this page. There are 84. Now we write, let's say we want all the anchor text which has the href attribute. I mean, by default, all should have them. So let's see. 82. Let's just remove this. There are 84, but how many of uh, there are two anchor tags in this page which doesn't have at the rate href attribute? I mean, which doesn't have href attribute there are two links which is wrong so we can raise a bug that there is an issue like there, there are two anchor tags which has been introduced in this page which are not correct so you can see that this is what it is returning and now we will write this formula so forward slash at the rate href and it is returning 82 and these are all the values of href attribute which is linked so you see that if you uh, recall like generally when we uh, when we are being asked the question like get how to get all the links in a page so generally i have seen and in fact you must have seen that you we used to write we start writing the uh, that script getting all the links using the find elements method inside a list right like something like this uh, list and you we used to write that web elements <laughs> like this and i mean i'm not writing a full syntax let me just write driver dot find elements and then there you write double forward slash a then we loop through and uh <coughs> store all the links get the href values so that way that used to take a lot of time but here you can quickly just write double power slash a forward slash at href and you will get all the links and you can test it basically. So this is very quick way to get all the links of a page. So this way we can get all the URL values like you see. But this X path cannot be used in automation script for the very obvious reason because this used to return the string values, not the web element, not the node. While this X path, this X path format, like the square bracket inside the square bracket, if we write at the rate H attribute name, then that can be used because you see that it is returning the node value, the web element value. So this I um, means both the X path are like really important. This is very helpful in case of like the below one double forward slash a forward slash at href. It is very helpful if you want to do the uh, quick testing of some scenarios like you want to get all the links in a page, you want to get some attribute, a particular attribute value in a page, then you can get it very quickly. You need not to write the automation script and all the way running through the loop. And the first one is like if you want to uh, like if you want to write a X path for some elements with a particular condition like if that attribute is present because generally we you must have seen that you uh, we people used to write the x path based on the attribute name and attribute value like if id is equal to this like if we have to write x path for this element we generally write uh, i'm sure you must have seen this way that id is equal to this or uh, attribute is attribute name is equal to attribute value this so always write the based on attribute value but what if like you just want you doesn't care the value you just want the uh, elements based on the attribute presence so in that case this is the formula like double forward slash tag name square bracket at attribute name this will return us all the elements which has like let's say this case id so this is the difference between these two uh, syntax of xpath both are the right syntax first one can be used in automation script 
second one cannot be used because uh, i mean of course like if you are uh, you are writing or doing web scrapping then you can use it but in selenium or in playwright there you cannot use this because this doesn't returns the web element i hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful please do let me know if you uh, ever use this kind of syntax or if you have ever faced this in uh, this question in interview and do let let me know your thoughts in the comment section that how uh, how uh, good you found this concept thank you Thank you.